do Roth conversions now. Now. I'm telling you, man. Dow's down another 700 points right now. Off what? Uh, basically, 2,000 uh, point drop over the last two days or so. We're down, what, 8 9%? Man, that is the ideal time to start your Roth conversions. I, I talked about this, was it last May? Was it last May? I can't remember. I talked about we had a, a three-week market drop about 7.7%. And I did a video then. I said, do Roth conversions now. And you got to do it now because these days are fleeting. Doesn't mean the market can't go down more. But just think about it. I think it was last, Mar last May. Maybe it was May before that. I can't remember. But anyway. I think it was last May. If you would have done Roth conversions then, let's say at 100,000 bucks in a traditional IRA, mark is down 7.7%. So now you're sitting at, what's that, 92.3 or something like that? Yeah, right, 92.3. So now you're at 92.3, all right? You convert, you pay tax on, on that 92.3, and then the market was up from then on like 20% for the rest of the year. All right, so you just saved yourself taxes on a $100,000 distribution, so you saved, we'll just say 20% tax rate on 100,000 bucks, and you only had to pay 20% tax rate on 92.3, which means that $7,700 you did not have to pay 20% on, which saves you about 1,500 bucks or so. On top of that, now your account from 92.3 is worth 20% more, I don't know what I do, let's say 115. So now you're up to, uh, that's another, what, $20,000 or so that you've grown tax-free, 15,000. So you saved a thousand bucks, 1,500 in the taxes, and you got 15,000 to 20,000 tax-free growth since then. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, man. Now you're facing the facts are if you did not do any Roth conversions, now you're sitting at 120 at the end of this year, all right? Because the market is up 20%, and now you're breaking even because we, we've given all the gains we've had so far this year. So you're right back to even. I mean, yes, you are down relative to the last couple of days, but you're not down relative to this whole year so far. Now, the question is, will the market drop more? Sure, absolutely. Absolutely. Best market timing. No market time. We know for a fact the market is off almost 10% from where it was just a couple of days ago. Not to take advantage of this is crazy to me. Now, you could certainly say, I want to convert 100,000 bucks. All right, well, let's take 50,000 now. And wait to see if the market goes down another 50 uh, 50 percent another 10 percent it might it will probably does i have no idea a 25 percent decline in the market happens all, all the time um every four years or so unfortunately it's completely random there's no pattern here it doesn't go up 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 down up 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 down it's completely random so we don't know but we haven't had a 20 uh see the end of 2018 we had a 20% sell-off from October of uh, 2018 to the Christmas Eve massacre. All right, so we did have a 20% sell-off then. Would have been an ideal time to do Roth conversions then, because then the whole 39% or whatever we got, 30% we got last year, would have been tax-free to you. On top of the fact, you would have converted when it was the market was down 20%. So you would have converted 80,000 as opposed to the 100,000 you started with. Man. And on top of that, that 80,000 would have grown uh, by another 30% in 2019 alone. Uh, I mean, you would, have, you would have been in a pretty good place, that's for sure. So, the moral of the story. Mark, hey boys! We got our two uh, dogs up there, Cy and Trice, staring at Pablo. And they're both about the size of moo cows compared to Pablo, who's the size of a snail relative to these guys. And uh, they all love each other. All right. Do your Roth conversions. All right, we'll see you.